Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the DINMAP plugin on your server. Firstly, I'll be showing you a brief overview of what the plugin is and what it does, and then I'll show you how to set it up on your own server. There are timestamps in the description if you want to jump to a specific section. Mainly, this plugin provides a Google Maps-like map for your Minecraft server that can be viewed in a browser. All you have to do is type in your server's IP address or host name and then colon 8123 in your browser if you're on a pro or VPS plan. That'll redirect you to the page with your server's map. If you're on a premium plan, however, you'll have to type in your server's IP address or host name and then use one of the open ports. You can do that by heading to advanced settings and copying one of the numbers at the bottom. If players are online on your server, you'll be able to see them at their location along with their health and armor bar. You'll be able to see the time in game at the top as well as being able to zoom in and out of the map. Not just that, but at the bottom left you're able to see the chat and type whatever you want. That will come up in game 2, it will look like this. This way you can chat to people on the server without having to log on. You can disable and enable the chat feature as well as a bunch of other features this plugin provides. There are a lot, so we recommend downloading this plugin yourself to test them out. If you want to find out how to do that, keep on watching. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to manually set up the DINMAP plugin. In order to set it up manually, you'll have to download the DINMAP plugin, which you can do by heading to this page. The link to it will be in the description. When you're there, all you have to do is press the download now button. That will instantly download the DINMAP plugin file. When it's done, we recommend dragging it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To set up the DINMAP plugin on your server, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. When you're there, head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that your server's type is set to spigot and that the version is compatible with the plugin version. We downloaded the latest 1.19 file, so the server has been set to 1.19. But the latest file version may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding, make sure the server is offline and then you can head to the Files tab. There you'll see a plugins folder. Double click that folder to open it up and once it's open, all you have to do is drag in the dinmap plugin file you downloaded earlier. It'll take a millisecond to upload, so when that's done, you can turn your server on. In the meantime, you can head to the console. There you'll know that the server has started correctly if it says done. Note that if your server is still online when installing the plugin, please restart your server fully to enable the plugin. Please don't use slash reload in the console as this can cause errors. Before logging into your server to test out the plugin, we recommend changing the configuration to SPQ light mode in the config to reduce the amount of files being produced by DINMAP. Firstly, you need to go into the Files section, into the Plugins folder, and then into the DINMAP folder. Afterwards, open the configuration.txt file. On line 30, it says type file tree. On that line, make sure to comment type by putting a hashtag before it. And then on line 32, uncomment by removing the hashtag. When you're done with that, make sure to save file and restart your server for the changes to take effect. If you're on a premium server though, you'll have to configure your port on the configuration file as well. What you have to do is head into your dashboard, into advanced settings and copy one of the two port numbers at the bottom. After, go back into the configuration file. You want to control and F and then type in web server port. Paste the port after the equals and you're done. Make sure to save file and restart your server once again for the changes to take effect. To make sure everything is working as intended in game, you want to head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, start up your Minecraft application and when the game is open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When that's done, double click to enter your server and after the server has finished loading up, walk around a little bit. Afterwards, go back to the server.pro dashboard and copy the IP address. Paste that IP address in your browser, followed by a colon and then the number 8123. Remember, if you have a premium plan, you'll have to use one of the open ports instead. When you press enter, it'll then redirect you to a web page showcasing the map for your server. If this shows up for you, then the plugin is working correctly. However, to render the map, people have to join the server, so at first you'll see a blank screen. You can render the map using commands, however. To do that, head into your game and then when you're in, type slash dinmap full render. It'll start rendering the map, but it'll take a while to fully render, so make sure to be patient. There are optional configurations you can make with the DIMMAP plugin file. To find the config file for the plugin, you'll have to head to the Files tab and into the Plugins folder. Inside that, you should see a DINMAP folder. There are many files you can find here, one of them being the configuration.txt file. In the configuration file, you can tweak a lot of base plugin settings for your map. For example, on line 16, you can find an option that lets you change the quality and file size of your map. If I change this to low res, the map will then be of a smaller file size, as well as showing up with less detail. If you're unsure on what configurations you can make, there is a GitHub page you can go to that covers everything inside the configuration file. We'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out. If you want world and template 
split configuration, you should open the worlds.txt file. There is also a web page you can use to find out what settings to adjust in the worlds text file. We'll also be leaving the link to that in the description. On the official plugin download page, you can check out guides to all the other configurations that are available to make, so make sure to check that page out. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.